Hello everyone, it is so good to be here with you for collective worship once again. And today we are going to be looking at a story that Jesus told in the Bible from the book of Luke. But before we hear the story, I have some props here that will help us to figure out what's going to happen in the story. So let's have a look what they are. I have got some gold and silver coins. I have got a party hat. Um, I have got two pigs. I wonder what they're for. Um, I have got snazzy ring. And I have got some shoes, some sandals. So I wonder what on earth the story could be about today. Let's find out. Jesus told this story. There was a man who had two sons and the younger son said, Dad, when you die, I'm gonna get half of all your money. But I don't want to wait, I want my money now. The father was sad about this, but because he loved his son so much, he agreed and he gave him half of all of his money. The younger son was so excited and he quickly packed his bags and went off on an adventure far away from home. He spent all of his father's money on parties and having fun and he was having a great time. But soon the son had run out of money. He had no food, no money and no job. He was desperate for a job, but the only job that he could find was feeding pigs. Stinky, dirty, yucky pigs. He was so hungry. He wanted to eat the food that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him any food. He started thinking, and he remembered his father back home. Even my dad's servants have food to spare and here I am starving to death. I know what I'll do. I will go back home and I will say sorry to my dad. And maybe, just maybe, he might take me back as one of his servants. So he picked up his bag and he started the long, long journey home. Every day since his son had left, the father would go outside and look for his son. And while the son was still a long way from home, the father saw him coming and he was so excited to see him. He ran to his son and he gave him a huge hug and he kissed him and he hugged him. The son said, Dad, I am so sorry. I have done wrong. I shouldn't be allowed to be called your son anymore. But the father was so happy that his son was back. He called his servants and he said, look, my son is home. My son is home. My son is home. He was lost, but now he is found. Bring the best robe for him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Let's have a party. My son is home. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was working hard in the fields, just as he has, had done every day since his brother had left. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. What is happening? He asked one of the servants. Your brother is home! Your brother is home! Your brother is home! He, the servant said. Your father is throwing a party for him because he is back safe and sound. The older brother was very angry and refused to go into the party. So his father went out to him. Please, please come into the party. Your brother is home! Your brother is home! Your brother is home! But the older son was not happy. I've been here all these years, working hard for you, doing everything you asked me to. But my brother, who took all your money and wasted it, comes home 
and you throw this huge party for him. That's not fair. The father said, my son, you are always with me, but now we have to celebrate because your brother is home. He was lost, but now he is found. Hooray! Now Jesus told this story to show us how much God loves us. God is like the father in the story. And sometimes we can be a little bit like the younger son selfish and perhaps only thinking about ourselves and not thinking about other people. And maybe sometimes we can be like the older son too, jealous and angry. But no matter what we do or how far away from God we feel, God will always love us and be ready to forgive us. When we say sorry to God, we are coming back to him. And just like the father in the story, God says, my son or my daughter is home. Let's celebrate. I wonder, have there been any times recently when you have been selfish or jealous or angry? Maybe take a moment to say sorry to God quietly in your head for those times when you have gone your own way and walked away from God. And when you've done that, in your head, picture God, just like the father in the story, opening his arms and giving you a huge hug. We are going to pray now, and if you would like to, you can make your fingers into the shape of a heart to help you to think about God's love for you. Dear God, we are sorry for the times when we are like the younger son and selfish and go our own way. Thank you for your amazing love for us and thank you that you are always ready to forgive us and to take us back. Amen. Have a great week everyone and I hope to see you soon. Bye.